Hello viewers. Today's video is something regarding pre-diabetes. So we all know something regarding diabetes, but pre-diabetes is something which is less focused and less spoken about and we don't mind about pre-diabetes usually. But pre-diabetes is something which is more dangerous than diabetes. You want to know why? So stay tuned to this video. So pre-diabetes is something as the word says, it is before diabetes. Before your body is affected by a disorder called diabetes, there is a stage called pre-diabetes. As per the guidelines, there are few cutoff values which determine whether a person is pre-diabetic or not. So pre-diabetes is basically of two types. One is impaired fasting glucose. The other is impaired glucose tolerance. So what is this impaired fasting glucose? The normal fasting plasma glucose of a person is usually less than 100 or less than 110. The guidelines, there are different guideline cutoffs between American guidelines and World Health Organization. So the values of 100 and 110 are always there. But to our practice, we should take into concern 100. It's always better to be low and better to be safe. Less than 100 if you consider, less than 100 if it's there, then it's normal. Suppose the value is between 100 and 125, 100 to 125, then that is impaired fasting glucose. Your fasting level is more than the normal. The impaired fasting glucose is something when only the fasting sugars is high. But if you are going to take your food and you are going to check your blood sugar levels or you are going to take your glucose and you are going to check your blood sugar levels, then it is going to be normal. So this is called impaired fasting glucose. The other problem is impaired glucose tolerance. Your fasting sugar will be normal, but once you take the glucose for the test, that is 75 gram glucose, OGTT, oral glucose tolerance test, then your value should be less than 140 normally. Suppose your value is greater than 140 and less than 199, then you have impaired glucose tolerance. Your glucose tolerance is impaired, that is it is above the normal, but it is not touching above 200, which is the diabetic range. It is below the diabetic range and it is above the normal. It is between 140 to 149. So this is impaired glucose tolerance. Suppose both are there, then it is impaired fasting glucose and impaired glucose tolerance. These are something which is known as pre-diabetic range. So in pre-diabetes, one or more of the following will be there. Impaired fasting glucose, that is fasting plasma sugar, will be less than 126 and greater than 100, that is 100 to 125, that is the range for impaired fasting glucose. And in impaired glucose tolerance, the range will be 140 to 149, that is known as impaired glucose tolerance. And HbA1c, if you see, it is 5.7 to 6.4 when done with good machines and in a standard assay and it is a calibrated assay. So in that test only, if the value is 5.7 to 6.4, then it should be considered as a pre-diabetic range. So below 5.7, it means that it is normal. Above 6.5 or if it crosses 6.5, then it is known to be diabetes. So 5.7 to 6.4 is the cutoff for pre-diabetes. So why is this pre-diabetes more harmful? Pre-diabetes is actually a situation or a condition where the insulin resistance starts and it's almost peaking in the body. So when insulin resistance starts and peaks in the body, the insulin in the body will also increase. You will have hyperinsulinemia. So because of that, there is going to be more problems in the body. So what happens when the problems increase? There are lots of complications which are going to happen because of insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia. And this phase will go on for a particular period of time and it will change into diabetes. And once it changes into diabetes, after few years, then this problem will go down a bit and the insulin levels in the body, the secretion of insulin in the body will also come down. Because this pre-diabetes is a starting stage, it is very much dangerous because this pre-diabetes can also lead to many other problems as we know which is linked to diabetes and may not be linked to diabetes. Something say like uh, cholesterol problems or heart attacks 
or uh, complications because of diabetes, eye problems, nerve problems, kidney problems and uh, brain problems, stroke, uh, you know like uh, gangrene or foot problems or reduced blood supply, all those things can be caused. So, all these problems are, lead, are going to be more dangerous in future than the diabetes per se because diabetes is caused because of this pre-diabetes. There is nothing which comes like directly it turns into diabetes and it becomes a diabetes unless and uh, until there is something which is causing because of any drugs or because of any other direct cause something like that. When it comes to type 2 diabetes mellitus definitely there is a natural history from a normal metabolism your blood will become a pre-diabetic range you will become a pre-diabetes then you will go into diabetes. So, this is the natural progression by which it happens. So, pre-diabetes is to be considered more dangerous when compared to diabetes because pre-diabetes is something which we can stop and if it is not stopped properly it is going to lead to a very dangerous problem called diabetes. So, pre-diabetes is also dangerous when compared to diabetes. So, pre-diabetes should be managed effectively with diet and exercise and even in few times some medications will also help for reversal. Suppose you are in the reversal stages, it is always better that we reverse the pre-diabetes into a normal person. So, normal sugar levels. So, once your sugar levels are normal and you are maintaining your lifestyle, your diet and exercise, then you are very likely to progress into again into pre-diabetes and later on to diabetes. Also, always there is always a little chance for the progression to happen. But if you are taking care of your health properly, then definitely this pre-diabetes can be managed to a very great extent effectively. This mostly happens because of losing weight and cutting down your carbohydrate content, your glucose or sugar starch content in your daily diet and uh, taking a healthy balanced diet which is high in fiber and uh, low in carbohydrate, adequate in protein and fat as well. So, I hope this video sensitized you regarding what is pre-diabetes and why is pre-diabetes important because pre-diabetes if it is not taken care of properly it is going to lead, lead to a very dangerous problem called diabetes and more complications because of diabetes. So, pre-diabetes should be considered more dangerous when diabetes because if pre-diabetes is not con controlled properly it is definitely going to go into diabetes and we are going to increase the diabetic burden in our country and globally and it is something which is unwanted and which is preventable to a greater extent just with our lifestyle modifications and with our healthy lifestyle and behavior. So, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please click on the notification bell all like all button for regular updates. Hit on the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel and share our videos so that all your friends and colleagues and family members get to know what is pre-diabetes and they identify the pre-diabetes earlier by doing regular checkups at least once a year they should be able to do the blood sugar levels so that they know or they are they are having control of their sugar levels properly and they, they are able to control their sugar levels exactly and lead a healthy life. Stay healthy. God bless you.